Hello friends, I am Gopu Kumar. Welcome to M4 Maths. In this section, we are going to learn how to convert a given equation into a partial differential equation. There are five notations which are used to form the partial differential equation. Understanding and remembering each of them are essential for solving problems in this section. Five notations are p is equal to dou z by dou x, q is equal to dou z by dou y, r is equal to dou square z by dou x square, s is equal to dou square z by dou x, dou y is equal to dou square z by dou y dou x, t is equal to dou square z by dou y square, where z is a function of two independent variables x and y. In this section, we are going to deal with three types of problems. First one, elimination of arbitrary constants. Second one, elimination of arbitrary function. Third one, elimination of arbitrary function phi from phi of u v is equal to zero, where u and v are functions of x, y, z. Hello friends, here we are going to learn how to form partial differential equation by eliminating arbitrary constants. First question. Form the partial differential equation of the family of spheres having their centers on the line x is equal to y is equal to z. We know that general equation of the sphere is x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square plus z minus c whole square is equal to r square. This is the sphere with center a b, c and radius r. Here in this question given that center of the sphere lies on the line x is equal to y is equal to z. Therefore, center of the sphere a, b, c will be equal to each other. That is a is equal to b is equal to c. Therefore, general equation of the sphere x minus a the whole square plus y minus b the whole square plus z minus c the whole square is equal to r square becomes x minus a whole square plus b is equal to a. Therefore, y minus b whole square can be written in the form y minus a the whole square plus z minus c whole square. Here, a is equal to z. Therefore, z minus e whole square can be written in the form z minus a the whole square is equal to r square. This is equation 1. For turning this equation into a partial differential equation, we have to eliminate arbitrary constant a from this equation. We are going to use partial differentiation to eliminate the arbitrary constant a. Let us differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. Upon differentiating x minus a the whole square partially with respect to x, we get 2 into x minus a plus as we know on differentiating partially with respect to x, y is constant and derivative of a constant is always 0. Therefore, derivative of y minus a whole square partially with respect to x is 0 plus on differentiating z minus a whole square partially with respect to x we get 2 into z minus a into derivative of z partially with respect to x is dou z by dou x is equal to here r square is constant derivative of a constant is 0. Therefore, derivative of r square is 0. Divide this equation both sides with 2. We get x minus a plus z minus a into using the notation dou z by dou x is equal to p. We can replace dou z by dou x as p is equal to 0. x minus a plus p z minus a p is equal to 0. x plus z p is equal to on transposing minus a and minus a p to right hand side we can write minus a 
minus a p as a plus a p x plus a z p is equal to a plus a p can be written in the form a into 1 plus p. From this equation we can write a is equal to x plus a z p divided by 1 plus p. Equation 2. Now let us differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y. On differentiating partially with respect to y, x is constant. Since x is constant, derivative of x minus a whole square is 0 plus on differentiating y minus a the whole square partially with respect to y, we get 2 into y minus a plus on differentiating z minus a the whole square partially with respect to y, we get 2 into z minus a into derivative of z partially with respect to y is dou z by dou y is equal to r square is constant. Therefore, derivative of r square is 0. On dividing both sides with 2, we get y minus a plus z minus a into using the notation dou z by dou y is equal to q, replace dou z by dou y with q is equal to 0. y minus a plus z q minus a q is equal to 0. y plus z q is equal to on transposing minus a and minus a q to right hand side we get a plus a q. y plus z q is equal to a plus a q can be written in the form a into 1 plus q. From this equation we can write a is equal to y plus z q divided by 1 plus q. This is equation 3. We know that equation 2 is a is equal to x plus z p by 1 plus p. Equation 3 a is equal to y plus z q divided by 1 plus q. Equation 2 divided by equation 3. Equation 2 is x plus z p divided by 1 plus p is equal to a divided by Equation 3, y plus z q divided by 1 plus q is equal to a. x plus z p divided by 1 plus p into 1 divided by y plus z q divided by 1 plus q can be written in the form 1 plus q divided by y plus y plus z q is equal to on cancelling, we get 1. x plus z p into 1 plus q is equal to, on cross multiplying, we get y plus z q into 1 plus p. x into 1, x plus x into q, x q, z p plus p q z is equal to y into 1, y plus y into p, p y, p y, z q, z q plus p q z plus p q z. x minus y plus x q minus z q plus z p minus y p plus p q z plus p q z minus p q z is equal to 0 x minus y plus x q minus z q can be written in the form x minus a z into q plus z p minus y p can be written in the form z minus y p is equal to 0. We can write this equation as z minus y p plus x minus a z q is equal to minus of x minus y. On multiplying this equation with minus 1, we get y minus a z p plus a z minus x q 
is equal to x minus y. Now the arbitrary constant a is eliminated. Therefore, required partial differential equation is y minus zp plus z minus x q is equal to x minus y. This is also called Lagrange's equation. This is capital P small p plus this is capital Q small q is equal to r. P p plus q q is equal to r. This is Lagrange's form. Next question. Find the partial differential equation of all planes having equal intercepts on the x and y axis. We know that equation of intercept form of the plane is x by a plus y by b plus a z by c is equal to 1. Equation of intercept form of the plane is x by a plus y by b plus a z by c is equal to 1. Here in this question given that x and y have equal intercepts. Therefore, a is equal to b. x by a plus y by b can be written in the form y by a because a is equal to b plus a z by c is equal to 1. Equation 1. For turning this into a partial differential equation, we have to eliminate arbitrary constant a and c from the given equation. We are going to use partial differentiation to eliminate these arbitrary constants. Let us first differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to x. Upon differentiating x by a partially with respect to x, we get 1 by a. Here 1 by a is constant. Derivative of x partially with respect to x is 1. Plus, as we know, on differentiating partially with respect to x, y is constant. And derivative of a constant is always 0. Therefore, derivative of y by a partially with respect to x is 0. Plus, 1 by c into derivative of z partially with respect to x is dou z by dou x is equal to derivative of 1, 0. 1 by a plus 1 by c into using notation dou z by dou x is equal to p. Replace dou z by dou x with p. Then 1 by c dou z by dou x becomes 1 by c into p is equal to 0. 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by c into p. This is equation 2. Now let us differentiate equation 1 partially with respect to y. On differentiating partially with respect to y, x is constant and derivative of constant is 0. On differentiating x by a partially with respect to y, we get 0 plus on differentiating y partially with respect to y, we get 1. Here 1 by a is constant. Therefore, derivative of y by a partially with respect to y is 1 by a plus here 1 by c is constant. On differentiating z partially with respect to y, we get dou z by dou y is equal to derivative of 1, 0. 1 by a plus 1 by c into using the notation dou z by dou y is equal to q replace dou z by dou y. 1 by c dou z by dou y becomes 1 by c into q is equal to 0. 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by c into q. This is equation 3. We know that equation 2 is 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by c into p. Equation 3 is 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by c into q. Equating equation 2 and equation 3. From equation 2, we get 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by cp is equal to 
from equation 3 we get 1 by a is equal to minus 1 by c cube. Dividing both sides with minus 1 by c we get p is equal to q. Now the arbitrary constant a and c are eliminated. Therefore required partial differential equation is p is equal to q. If you feel the video helpful please subscribe the channel for upcoming videos.